Example four, graph r equals one plus cosine theta. The best thing that you can do when graphing one of these is just know what it looks like ahead of time. And you should be able to recognize because of that plus sign that it's going to be a limit sign. Okay? But specifically, when this number one matches this number one, we know it's a special kind of limit sign called a cardio. So if you had something like r equals three plus three cosine theta, same thing. Maybe that would make it more obvious that those two numbers match, but anytime those two numbers match, it's going to be a cardioid. Okay? Cardioid. Um, cardio. Think about heart. It's going to look kind of like a heart. Um, but what you're looking at is you're looking at this cosine, which has something to do with the x direction. And so I know that that heart is going to be pointing in the x direction. So it's going to look something like this, I suppose. Okay? We already kind of know what it looks like in advance, and that's, that's the best thing that you can do. You memorize that pattern, it's going to make the cardioid, the cosine's pointing us in the, uh, to the right. So if you didn't have any kind of graphing software, you'd make a table, and you might start with something easy like zero. You would have one plus cosine of zero degrees. Now cosine zero is equal to one, so we'd have one plus one is two. I would have to graph the point, 2 comma 0. And so go in the direction 0 degrees, go over 2, you have a point right there. 2, 0. Okay? So another easy number to plug in would be 90 degrees. 90 degrees. You have 1 plus cosine 90 degrees. And cosine 90 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. And so we've got the point 1 comma 90. So go in the direction of 90 degrees, go up 1. And there's another dot. So you can continue this and keep plugging numbers in. Maybe we try, try something else easy, 180. 1 plus cosine 180. Cosine 180. And where 180 is right here. Sometimes people struggle with 180. But that's a zero degree reference. So it's kind of like we're doing cosine zero. But it's over here. And we know, we know numbers are negative over here. Cosine numbers are negative over here. So cosine zero is one, but on that left side, that's going to be negative. So negative one. We'd have one plus negative one is zero, and so I've got the point zero comma 180. Zero comma 180 is just, I guess, right there. And then, so then maybe I, maybe I do another point, maybe I do 270, 270 degrees. One plus cosine 270. Cosine 270 is zero, one plus zero is one. I've got the point one comma two seven. So go in that 270 direction, go down one. That's, you know, maybe that's enough dots, especially if you know what a cardioid looks like. If you know what a cardioid looks like, that's going to be something like this. Okay? So you look at that graph and it definitely looks like a heart. You can see why they call it a cardioid. Now, if you want to, you can change the scale. And let's say we go by, uh, I don't know, let's go by fives, maybe. One, two, three, four, five. Let's say every five is one. And so if we did that, you, you're two, and you're one, and you're zero, and you're one. Maybe you blow it up like that, maybe it looks nicer, it's easier to see your cardioid. Um, so there it is with the change of scale. If you don't like that, then don't change your scale, you can make a tiny one. It doesn't really matter, either way. There's your cardioid. 